Okay, ready, ready. ready. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julie Benz, and you're watching Backstage.com. Almost. I've got the best of Bananarama. It's a cruel summer. One really bad audition that I had was I walked into the room and the director, um, I was saying hi to the director and we were just making small talk. And he started telling me how I reminded him of his ex-girlfriend. Not only did I was the spitting image of her, but my voice was the same and how he hated her because she cheated on him and she did all this stuff. And I literally just looked at him and was like, I don't even think I should audition. I'm just gonna leave. And I left because it's just bad news. When you remind that person of somebody that they absolutely hate and you're supposed to be playing the lovable character in the project, it, it, you're not gonna get hired. I mean, it was just like, Nah, I'm gonna go home. I, I'm probably the rare actor that actually loves to audition. I look at it as a competitive sport. Um, and uh, I also, I try to view it as, you know, it's my time to be an actor that day, to play the role how I wanna play it in that room. And that's all it is. It's not really about getting the job. It's about, um, you know, being the best actor I can be that day and performing the part how I wanna play her. And that's all I do. I try not to overthink it. And it's not my project, you know, it's somebody else's project. And all you can do is just go in and, and, and do what you do. There's thousands of actors that are just as good as you are, that are just as right as you are, so it's just a matter of, of who they connect with and who they feel is the role. The biggest challenge of playing Rita, I would say um, she's had an amazing uh, growth over four seasons, and I think finding that balance between her um, fragility in season one to her strength in season four without losing um, her vulnerabilities. We're a team here, right? Okay, we work together. When they came to me in season two and they said they wanted to make Rita stronger, I actually was very sad because I loved the season one where she was just this very damaged, fragile bird who, um, just was struggling so hard to make a, a, a better world for her kids, but just could not do it. And she felt so guilty over all the abuse that they had suffered and had seen. And, um, and I loved that part of her, and I was really afraid that um, we were going to lose that. And she has lost some of that, but I think what makes the show so fascinating to watch is you realize that she has gotten her strength through the love of a serial killer. So what would happen if she ever found out that he was a serial killer? I mean, the rug would be ripped out from underneath her. Every day is like survival, survival. So the, the stronger she gets, the more, um, the more it's like a, a fast moving train about to crash. That's what I feel it is for the audience to watch the relationship. But I still try to hold on to bring in remnants of, of her um, vulnerability and her, her fragility from season one. They don't know I do that, but I do. <laughs>